name is Valerie Hoagland and I have been a patient at Mubella Wellness for about a year. I was referred here by some friends that absolutely love Dr. Cowan. I have been dealing with um, a lot of lower abdominal pain for about 10 years. When my pain was so bad, I was not exercising or eating properly and she helped me with that. She's given me um, supplements and helping me with my diet and showing me different things that I need to do, things that I don't need to do and giving me a lot of encouragement. Dr. Cowan originally helped me with hormone therapy and through that we were able to move through a hysterectomy. Since my surgery, I have actually lost a little over 20 pounds, so I'm well on my way to being happy and healthy. I came here and was delighted to find someone that actually listened to my pain and symptoms and my problems and was willing to give me a chance and was willing to help me. The staff is amazing, very sweet, very helpful. Dr. Cowan is great. Um, she always listens to me. She gives me her time and her energy and she is always willing to help. I recommend Dr. Cowan to all of my friends. woman's lifespan, there are several recommended screenings to decrease your risk for disease, starting with the pap smear, mammogram, bone density, as well as colonoscopy. It is recommended that a woman starts having a pap smear at the age of 21, whether she's sexually active or not. A pap smear actually prevents cervical cancer. I recommend pap smear screenings anywhere from every one to five years, and the pap smear is a small component of your annual exam. You should see your gynecologist on an annual basis, and during that exam, your gynecologist will decide based on your previous history whether or not you need a pap smear. Mammograms help to detect breast cancer at an early stage to decrease the risk of death from breast cancer. I personally recommend my patients to have a mammogram on an annual basis starting at the age of 40. However, there are several patients who may have a strong family history of breast cancer that was diagnosed prior to the age of 40, and for those patients, they may have special recommendations. Colon cancer can actually be prevented by having your colonoscopy screening on a regular basis. The recommendation is to start at the age of 50 having a colonoscopy anywhere from every three to 10 years based on your family history and also based on your previous colonoscopies. If you have a first or second degree relative with colon cancer, my recommendation is to start your colonoscopies five years prior to the age they were diagnosed. Screening for osteoporosis is done through bone density scans. I recommend most of my patients start bone density scans at the age of 65 every two years. However, I do have a subset of patients who may need bone density scans prior to that age, secondary to their history. Any woman who has a previous history of steroid use in their lifetime, a smoking history, a previous fracture, or a strong family history of osteoporosis may need bone density screening prior to the age of 65. Maintaining a healthy weight is important for your overall health. Obesity is the second most preventable cause of death, and obesity increases your risk of heart disease, many cancers, stroke, as well as diabetes. A healthy weight is defined as a body mass index, or BMI, less than 25. Regardless of your ethnicity or race, studies show that by maintaining a healthy weight with a body mass index of less than 25, you will decrease your health risk and improve your overall health. As a board certified gynecologist with special training in weight loss, I teach my patients to lose the weight, but most importantly, I teach them how to maintain a healthy weight. I recommend breakfast within the first hour of waking up, weighing regularly, 
frequent small meals, and most importantly, knowing your resting metabolic rate so you know how many calories to eat to maintain weight as well as lose weight. Maintaining a healthy weight is important for your overall health. Obesity increases your risk of diabetes, heart disease, stroke, and several cancers.